another seemingly senseless shooting. This is Monday, December 7th, 2015. Emma Watson Noling hugged Timothy Nelson Obershaw at the start of soccer practice Saturday. It's by the Cox Media Group, national content, no author, krmg.com. As he was walking by the sidelines, Emma went up and gave him a big hug and went back to her training. Soccer coach Mario Cicluna said to the Detroit Free Press, by the end of the night, Obershaw, a family friend, had shot Noling and her mother, Sharon Elizabeth Watson, as they were getting ready to leave, according to the Taylor Police Department. Obershaw, 57, then turned the 9mm handgun on himself. Noling, seven years old, was taken to Children's Hospital of Detroit, where she later died of her injuries, according to the investigators. Watson, 37, is in serious condition at a local hospital. Obershaw, who parked in a different part of the parking lot at the soccer complex in Taylor, Michigan, confronted Watson as she was leaving practice around 8 p.m., according to police. Obershaw then fired into her car, hitting Noling first, and Watson Obershaw had attended soccer practices in the past. He was a family friend who had lived with Watson and her boyfriend. Obushaw recently moved out. He had become increasingly mentally unstable and paranoid. In the last year, police also found evidence that Obushaw believed someone was trying to perform mind control on him. Obushaw registered the handgun in September. Police are still working on a motive. I'll tell you what the motive is. I think he was probably in love with her and probably was like, hey, can we be together? He had to move out, so... I bet there was something that happened where he moved out, but he didn't want to move out. He was in love with her and was like, hey, how come you don't love me back? That's my guess. Um, Senseless tragedy, especially killing the girl. There was no history of mental illness. He had registered it in September. Some people were saying that this might be a case for when gun control would have worked. And uh, I don't doubt that, that there are some cases where gun control would be effective. That being said, I just talked about a case where they robbed this old woman with a beat her up with a wrench. We can't make wrench wrenches illegal. As long as there are weapons that can be used to hurt others, it seems like the underlying, you know, poverty, mental health, capitalism, whatever's going on, you know, there's a bigger issue here. The culture is sick.